Griffiths. Thanks for being here. Nice to be here. We've got a, a big show today, a medical mystery exclusive. I don't know if you saw this. Um, uh, this picture went viral of this baby with a feather coming out of uh, the baby's cheek. It was the strangest thing. Anyway, her family is here revealing how they think that feather got there. Um, the baby is totally fine. Everything's fine, but uh, they're going to be on. Plus, a shocking intervention with a, a teen who's out of control and warning signs for everybody out there about your teen's behavior. Plus, it's our Frugal Friday of uh, 2013, so we're going to give you the top three simple changes you can make to save hundreds in the new year, but we start with the first 15. It's good to have you here. You're from San Diego. Yes, San Diego. Such a beautiful city. Yeah, I love it there. Yeah. Originally from Vancouver, so I don't miss the rain. Okay, love yeah, I bet. Diego, I bet, yeah. yeah. Um, and there's like a new panda there. There's yes, a, we do. Yeah. I, and it's very anchor man, but we do love our baby pandas. <laughs> Jolly Woo. Jolly Woo? Yes, uh, his little gift. There was a uh, there's video, I guess, of the panda getting a bath, I think, or getting an examination. We have videos of the panda doing everything. It's like every media outlet in the city is the, the family that's capturing it all in home video. Right. I don't know why news is upset. I mean, everybody loves a panda. I'm that's, that that's a while ago. The panda is now... Uh, 20 weeks old, 14 and a half pounds. Wow. I know that because I'm so Diego. cute. Yeah, isn't that sweet? Yeah. You do just want to kind of grab it and squeeze it, <laughs> but not in a bad way. But not in a bad way. Yeah. They eat a lot of bamboo. Wow, and that's the panda now? Yes. Wow. They start to fight back a little bit during their exams. I mean, it's sort of like the toddler stage for a panda right uh -huh. now. Uh, and when they're born, they're about the size of a stick of butter. That's the reference people always make, which I can't believe. And I know every mother That's amazing. Probably, why does a creature so big have such a tiny baby? And uh -huh. they don't. My favorite panda video of all time is the panda sneezing. I don't oh, know yeah. if you guys have seen this. This is a famous, uh, do we, let, let's show that video, because it's a, a famous uh, kind of viral video. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's a lot of new calendars out in the new year, and we've been showing uh, some weird calendars. We had this dental calendar uh, a, a while back that um, I guess some company that makes like dental prosthetic devices uh, for for dentists to test on had this calendar that was very creepy. Anyway, the latest creepy calendar we found is from a medical company uh, that has, I guess it's an x-ray company, but it's basically pinups, except they're x-ray pinups. Yeah, so it's... Pinups in provocative poses. That's the one that gets me. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing hotter than that. No. It's like all the stripper poses except the x rays of them. I also feel bad for the model because it can't be, it can't, that I know. That one's probably better, it's just the skeleton. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it can't be healthy for the model to be posing and having her x ray repeatedly taken for this stupid calendar. I don't know. I anyway. like how the shoes are so crystal clear, though. That's what makes it sexy. <laughs> that, that's what, yeah. yeah. Nothing, yeah. Uh, the, um, there's another picture from the United Kingdom of the, uh, I think they say it's the world's smallest dog. I'm not sure it's actually the world's smallest dog. Take it's a look. It's gotta be close. It though. actually fits into a baby's sock, um, which is, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. That's a chihuahua that was the runt of the litter, which seems redundant to me because they're so tiny anyway. Yeah, I guess but that's yeah, the baby's sock. Yeah, that's the one sock. in the baby's sock. It's like I mean, that is bag. tiny. I know. They say it's, it's under six inches long. Um, Pretty cute, though. Yeah, very cute dog. There's also, you know, it's the new year, and so there's always new studies that come out. There's a new study about shower time and how much time people spend in the shower. Apparently, the average shower time is eight minutes. But uh, women uh, shower much longer than men, usually twice as long as men, sometimes as much as 16 minutes. And men shower about uh, usually less than five minutes, which I think is about accurate. I mean, I shower, I'm, I'm in and out. Like, I, like, I'm like a cat. Like, I, I'm just in, I, I mean, I get out. I think some women are shaving their legs in the shower, though. That's oh, is that, is that what? And, long, yeah, and longer we use hair? the conditioner. Uh -huh. You know, a lot of guys just get in there and they soap and they get out. What's the point of the conditioner? I don't know why you need conditioner. To get the tangles out of your hair. And, you know, we want the... Just make it shiny, yeah. Uh, you know technology has gone too far with this next story. There's a, now a smartphone app. There's a toilet that can be controlled by a smartphone app. <laughs> you know, and it's like the brightest minds of our universe have gotten together and created this incredible technology that's and now it's we're using you know it is in case they forgot to put either the seat down or they forgot to flush that's right it's called my satis i guess for like satisfaction or something uh it's it's available in japan 
and it can also, it can completely control the toilet, and it can also track your movements to see how healthy you are, <laughs> which I find particularly disturbing. I like this. Like, I don't know what. I know I can't. I, there's a little calendar with You're like days of the week. Well, symbolizes. it's like you had like a good day, a bad day. <laughs> yes, exactly. Nothing happened on the third. Yeah, the third was a bad day. No, there was nothing going on on the third. It was cloudy on the twentieth. Right. In fact, it looks like from like the seventh or the eleventh, the twelfth, and the thirteenth, nothing was going yeah. on. And the seventh through the tenth was a bad. Very active. <laughs> it was a very active. Don't you worry about if somebody gets a hold of your phone, they're just going to know far more about you. Than <laughs> yeah, ever that's true. Yeah. Uh, there's also, you know, a lot of people when you have a TV show do nice things for you, and uh, there is a guy who has been building a. I heard a snowman um, that looks like me. And his name is uh, uh, Mark uh, as, as Paris. How do you feel about the nose? I like sure. I like the toupee. I mean, it's the the, the toupee. Um, He's giving that's... you a little bit of color. Yeah. In the hair. He has, yeah. So, and he says it's going to last all winter. So that's kind of cool. Wow. Maybe I'll try to check up and go up there. It looks like Wolf Blitzer, not you. It looks like Wolf Blitzer. Yeah. You think? Doesn't it's, it? It's ten feet tall. I don't know. Who oh, there had, you go. Oh, yeah, there's Wolf Blitzer. That's with his old glasses, though. Okay. That's the old glasses. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also heard there was somebody in the audience who had something for me. I think a lady over here. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Molise. Molise? Yes. Hey, where I'm from Haiti. Hey, sac passe. La boule. Hey, okay. <laughs> um, what, do you, what do you have here? I have a painting for you. These oh, are the wow. most known flowers of Haiti, and I know how much you love Haiti. Oh, I do. So I wanted to bring this for you. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Did you, you, did you paint this yourself? Yes, I did. You did? Oh, wow, you're a really good artist. That's great. Can you take a picture later? Yeah, we'll take a picture later. Thank you so much. That's yeah. very nice. All right, thank you. Oh, that's very we'll sweet. We'll put that up in the studio. Yeah, we'll put it up in the studio. I have something for you, too. Oh, yeah? I brought you some items. I like presents. I heard that. Yeah. So these are some items from the San Diego Zoo. Oh, wow. Since we were talking about the panda earlier. And these are some of the things that they sell to raise money for and promote oh, the pandas. Fine. And I know you want to try that on. Totally. <laughs> I find masks kind of creepy. I like masks. They're very kind of scary, you know? Is it claustrophobic when you it's have It's a little claustrophobic. Can you, play, can you play the flute they sent while you have the mask <laughs> Can I play on? the flute? <laughs> wow, look at that. Yes. Cool. And they sent, this is sort of a, a zookeeper safari Wow. Vest. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. You want to try that on? Sure. I know you do. <laughs> okay. I feel like Jack Hanna. And one of the things that they, they promote at the zoo is, you know, the pandas eat a lot of bamboo. Right, yeah. And they're able, as a result, to produce paper, thanks to the pandas. You mean this is made out of, like, panda poop? Yes. <laughs> this is the one the elephants make. <laughs> the, the one the elephants... It's a little less subtle, the elephant <laughs> one, but the panda one just has a picture on. And it's called poo-poo paper. Is it really made yes. out of panda poop? That's so funny. You're asking me now after you stuck well, your <laughs> Yeah. Well, I thought you were just kidding, but oh, yeah. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's recycled. Yeah, well, no, I would hope so. I would hope it's, <laughs> I would hope it's not direct from the they source. Just press it right in the book <laughs> right, and away right. you go. These are beautiful. It's actually beautiful paper. It's yes. very nice. Oh, this is cool. Yes. The San Diego like, Zoo like is amazing. I like the audience today is just shouting back. <laughs> yeah. I like it. There's a like, lot just, of there's a lot yeah, of just talk right back. That's good. I like that. There should be. There's also, you know, the other day we had on um, uh, this, uh, 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 what was it? A, beard a beardo. It was a scarf that looked like a beard. To there, keep, there it was. <laughs> it's to keep your, your beard warm. Yeah. I look like a serial killer there. I'm sorry. I, or like, yeah, I look like Ted Kaczynski, like up in a mountain cabin that like I've been... I thought this was a string from the hat. Nice, uh, thank and you. And it's his line. It, yes. I, 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 I literally it? thought that was a string hanging down. It's a crease in your head. You it's and a I crease. are going, oh, I'm taking Anderson over the weekend for a little. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, Terrence, actually, oddly enough, right now, is very angry. But he's I, had so much Botox, you wouldn't even know it. <laughs> because he, had, he shows yeah. not a wrinkle on his face.
But which one what of us? What emotion are you showing right now? Which one right of now? us looks younger? <laughs> <laughs> what emotion is that? I can't tell with you. It's very. You need a sign that you hang around your neck saying like, "I'm angry," or, or "I'm thinking." Yeah. You no, know what? I, I've had this it works line. for me. I don't judge your creases. Don't judge my <laughs> flawless skin. <laughs> Anyway, Didn't so... Did you try something one day that froze it there? Yeah, yeah. Kathy Lee and Hoda were on, and they yeah. put some concoction. Yes. It was basically like some sort of paste on that filled it in. It, but does uh, it stay on, or does it come off? I mean, it I came off right away. Off. I peeled it off. Yeah, it was just—it was like it was like gum. It, it was basically off glorified when you're gum. Out socially, though, like she you're called this one. What did she call this? My cleavage. Off. Yeah, she, she, my head Your cleavage. Your eye cleavage. My eye cleavage. Yeah. And Which, in that picture, you got some cleavage. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. So anyway, these are new. Um, this is for uh, snowboarders, I guess. There's and it's you know to protect your face when it's really cold, but there's a beard attached. Oh. <laughs> That and then here. Like that. So that's my look. <laughs> no? I think it would be very, very effective, especially if you were on like a busy hill, because if I saw somebody coming down the hill wearing that, I would get out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all yours. Have the whole uh, yeah. thing to yourself. You know, I, I've managed for 45 years never to use a beard, but this is the first time I, I actually had a beard. Either that or somebody would think you were a Yeti. <laughs> Break. <laughs> No one, I would like, yeah, no one recognized me. Except they would recognize me as just like, oh, wait a minute, that's Anderson. Why is he wearing that creepy beard? Or so, a member of ZZ Top. Or a member of ZZ Top, yeah, the reject from ZZ Top. Uh, we got a lot more next in the first 15. Look back at the, uh, the biggest viral videos the past year. I'll be right back. San Diego. We're obsessed with a lot of viral videos here on the show, and uh, we wanted to get a, a roundup of kind of the biggest highlights of the past year of 2012. Senior tech analyst from Mashable.com, Christina Warren, is here. Well, Christina, thanks for being here. Thank you. Happy to be here. All right. So I haven't seen any of the stuff you're going to show. What the, the biggest viral videos for you or what? So 2012 was a huge year for viral videos. You, you couldn't turn on a TV or get on the internet without seeing somebody tweeting something. There were, there were so many. But you know what? For us, and, and I heard I heard this was your favorite video too. There's this one video that just, I can watch it over and over again, and it has to be the, uh, the ice cannonball. Oh, yeah. Uh, this, yeah, uh, yes. yeah, yeah. Do you guys He's, remember this? This is the two German guys. Yes, yeah, so he thinks he can just jump through this frozen pool. Right, this is a German terrible. guy who thinks it's a good idea to jump into a frozen pool Let's, and watch what happens. And my new band is called Seaskill. <laughs> it's awesome. It's so good. It's so good. And you know what? This been. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 22 million views yeah. on YouTube. I know. That's like he's auditioning for Jackass. It, it, it is. Yeah. <laughs> the best part is, is it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, That's what makes you feel less bad for him. It's the big yes. lead up where he's posing and saying he's how just... awesome he is. I'm not sure. Oh. Well, wow. it's so funny. He thinks it's hysterical. He just he, he pounds on the ice. I've His watched this. I mean, I must have seen this 500 times. I still find it amusing. Me too. Right? I, I can watch it like I like watch it on an endless loop. It's and fabulous. And from what we understand, he was okay. He's fine. He so broke it. I think he might have broken really his care. I, I think he really broke his tailbone. Hey, 22 million views. His bands, you know, might be doing. Who knows? He's got a band. You have you have another video, don't you? We do have another one. So you know. It's not quite as good, but it, but it's pretty close. It has to be the screaming sheep. Oh, I love the screaming. I know the screaming this one. Sheep? Okay, yes. Yep. Let's take a look. <laughs> I mean, how can you not love that? Oh, yeah. How can you not love that? <laughs> can we see it again? Ah, I, just... I don't think I've ever heard that. <laughs> really? Oh, there's a couple. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, it's very good. Um, okay, so let's see, photobombing was obviously a big trend as well. Huge trend, but I have to say, there was one, one uh, No, I didn't bomb. know what photobombing was. I, I'm sure most of you all know. So photobombing. It, you don't know. Okay. Well, there are entire websites dedicated. Yeah, there it's are. Especially where somebody yeah. kind of sticks their head in the back of a photo and totally or in front of a shot, photo and ruin right. the shot. Oh. And, and, and there were lots of really funny examples, but the best one, the one that totally owns, totally wins at photobomb, has mm. to be the Stingray. Oh, the Stingray photobomb is yeah. the best photobomb of all. Is this? Yes. 
people are posing for a picture and the stingrays like posing for the picture with them. Exactly. <laughs> and what's amazing about that is, of course, people saw that and then they, you know, like edited the stingray out, put it in other stuff. Uh -huh. So you saw it like all And I know you're covering the identity of the women in the shot there, but if you could see the facial expressions, I mean, clearly they yeah. can feel something. Yeah, yeah like, and that's actually that caught right in the moment. That's actually, I think, real because, I mean, yeah. a lot of the photobombing stuff is clearly it's not Photoshop. real. No, that was like a real one. Yeah, I think this is in an area either in the Cayman Islands or in Fiji where you can, or Tahiti, where you can actually swim with stingrays. And so. he's just like, I want to be in the shot too. <laughs> right, yeah. The great thing is the, the face on the stingray, I think that adds to it. <laughs> right, yes. Totally yeah. does. Uh, all right, so the election led to a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff online. It was a hugely, hugely social topic online. You know, uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, they, you know, broadcast the debates online and pretty much as soon as a candidate would say something, mm -hmm. it would go viral online. There'd right. be fake Twitter accounts dedicated, Tumblrs. But I think the biggest one, we saw a bunch, you know, Big Bird obviously was big, but I think the biggest had to be binders full of women. Oh, uh, okay. And literally as soon as, during the second presidential debate, as soon as Mitt Romney made that remark, I mean, we saw at Mashable, we saw Twitter accounts popping up, you know, uh, Tumblrs, just all sorts of blogs, and then there were some really, really, really funny binders full of women jokes. So uh, we've got a couple of those. I love this one. Oh, it still uses blood. What's great? <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, and what's great about this? Well, there's yeah. Is no this is two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So what else? What else you got from looking back in the year? Uh, so you know, looking back at the year. So you know, obviously. Um, I would have to say we're looking at like our big web highlight of the year. Yeah, what was the biggest highlight? You know, we were all impressed. She wasn't Michaela Maroney. Who? So, you know, Michaela... <laughs> <laughs> Michaela Mo She wasn't impressed. That's she wasn't her. impressed. Uh. So we know from the Olympics, the Olympics were hugely social. It was the first social media games, and she was great in the games. I but missed that. I don't know where I was. Yeah, I don't she know where you were She was expected to win gold. I think the announcers were saying the night of the vault, which she does for uh, us, right. they were saying it's not a question of whether she'll win gold, oh, but really? by how much. And so that she's on the podium, her. and, uh, and yes. she's like... And getting she didn't got, win gold. Uh, but in that event, she, she got silver. She got silver, and she's standing there, and they catch this look on her face, and she's just so not pleased. <laughs> and this immediately became just Michaela is not impressed. And the best part of this is then people throw that photo into other photos where uh, moments where you should be impressed. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> yes, here we go. See. see, she's not impressed with you, yeah. Anderson. She's she really was not a, impressed with you. She was a tough co host that day. She was. But you know what? Yeah. We're all impressed with you. <laughs> She's like, I don't want, she's like, who is this guy? Either that or the caption should read, don't touch me, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. We've had some days like that. She's like, I want a gold medal or nothing. Yeah. Uh, Christina Warren from Mashable, appreciate it. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you. Fun. Uh, up next, a medical mystery exclusive. When I heard about it, uh, we, we had to have the folks on the show. We'll hear from the parents of a baby girl who had a two-inch feather plucked from her neck. How did it get there? We'll find out ahead.